vending machines should be banned in schools. Schools give out education, friendships, and knowledge, but they shouldn't give out salty, sugary, fatty snacks. First, students' money goes directly to the big companies, not the schools. Second, there is a lot of money spent on vending machines each year. And last, the majority of the products are unhealthy in vending machines. The school will not benefit putting in vending machines. Big companies will. According to Mr. Young, there's an increase in profit from school lunches, which are better for you anyway than in the vending machines. The schools wouldn't benefit from putting vending machines in. People would more than likely buy from the vending machines, then they might not get lunch, and the school will lose money. Pepsi and Coca-Cola own 35% of all vending machines. These are the companies that will benefit, not the school. There's a lot of money spent on vending machines each year. 19 to 29 billion dollars is spent on vending machines. Mr. Young said the nutritional department's profit will go down. That would result in not having money to spend on more healthy foods. The money that is spent on vending machines is on junk food. The money that is spent should be on healthy foods. The items in the vending machines are overpriced. Not only that, since money goes to big companies, but there's a lot of money spent on vending machines each year. Mrs. Campbell states that healthy vending machines are not as common as healthy vending machines. This is very true. Of all the foods sold in vending machines, 75% of the items are unhealthy. Most of these unhealthy foods are high in fat and full of sugar. One reason this is, is because Pepsi and Coca-Cola own 35% of all vending machines. Not only are the vending machines not a healthy choice, they are also not a good choice for schools to invest in. Vending machines lead to obesity is a false statement. It happens on your own time, not in schools. But we're not here to talk about obesity. We're here to talk about vending machines being in schools. Vending machines can help keep kids keep their grades up by keeping them focused throughout the day. Uh, I know it, it. Wait. I know it's especially hard for me and a bunch of other students because they do after after school sports and in, and you're we're really hungry at that time since we eat lunch so early. So at the end of the day, we could go to a vending machine, grab a quick snack before that practice or game, and re-energize ourselves. Later in this debate, we'll be talking about these three arguments. Uh, Lemon amount of calories provided by lunch, uh, lunch uh, period, uh, provides money to school and benefits that benefits students and teachers. And lastly, it's not always unhealthy foods; it can also be healthy. We are teaching vending machines are not a heart attack when they have. My argument is, <coughs> kids are hungry for the amount of calories during the school lunch period. Six, Fox News claims six to eighth grade students are put through a 700 calories, which is, which is especially hard for us to keep throughout the day since we have the prime time of 10:35. So during that day, we can grab a, grab a small snack, not necessarily a bad one, uh, which we'll talk about later. Uh, kids are hungry for the amount of calories at school lunch period. Vending machines can also provide money to the school. Money from vending machines can provide better learning supplies, which will give you a better learning experience and better understandings of what you are learning. They could also give you more opportunities for extracurriculars. In, a, in an experiment conducted by Northeastern University College, they found out that after school activities help boys and girls against delinquency. You can also have more learning experiences like field trips. Not only would vending machines provide money for more learning opportunities, it teaches kids valuable life lessons. Healthy foods are sold. Kids have the choice. They can learn to make decisions and learn self-control. Healthy foods are becoming more and more popular in vending machines. <coughs> Human Healthy Vending has 1,500 um, vending machines in 40 different states, and they are trying to make healthy food more convenient than junk food. Talk about Miss Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> 
mostly goes to the nutritional department or or no it goes to the big companies that um, own the vending machines and it doesn't benefit the school in any way my opponent also says that it can the snacks and vending machines can be healthy 75% um, of the um, vending machine or snacks and vending machines are unhealthy if there were to be healthy foods I don't think the kids would choose the health, healthy foods I think they would choose the unhealthy foods that they know better and um, think taste better. Um, and that could um, lead to obesity or, and it could be very unhealthy for kids. They also say that it can benefit kids who are um, in extracurricular activities after school. Well, you can also get food from the a la carte and just bring that. And half the food that is sold at the a la carte is healthy and does benefit the school. It goes to the nutritional department and it affects their salary if we um, buy things from vending machines. Um, therefore, vending machines should be banned from school. My opponent just said that vending machines can lead to childhood obesity, but we disagree. There is such thing called human health event. They have 15,000 vending machines across 40 states. And they don't sell pop, candy, they sell fruits and, and vegetables. They're, and also, in, last year we had a vending machine that wasn't filled with pop or Gatorades or anything. It, it had fruit juice and water. And another thing about human health vending is they're they are the number one leading vending franchise in the, in the U.S. US. So that means people are starting to choose the healthy side um, other than the unhealthy side. Therefore, vending machines should be in schools. Today we have proven that vending machines should be banned in schools. They should be banned in schools because they take money away. Not only do they take money away from the schools, but they are also very expensive. Also, a majority of the products sold from vending machines are unhealthy. My question for you is, do you really want these unnecessary machines in your school, wasting your school's money along with yours? Vending machines should not be banned in schools. 
they can we don't get enough calories during lunch to keep going for eight hours, especially when we eat lunch at an early time. So vending machines will give us those extra calories needed. They also provide money to the school, like better to give us better learning supplies, better learning experiences, and more opportunities for extracurriculars. It also teaches us life lessons. We have a la carte in school, yes, but what if we got that choice taken away? What if we only got one month one lunch option? They don't take that choice away, so why should they take the option of vending machines away?